news Tim. yeah let's turn now to abc's tim pulliam in los angeles with our latest headlines hey there tim Hello, Eva DeMarco. Good to be with you and all of you watching. And we begin with the historic first for a former U.S. president, Donald Trump, facing a trial date of April 15th in the case over his alleged attempt to conceal claims of an affair with an adult film actress from voters. Attempts to delay that trial failed, even as the former president was given a reprieve by a New York appeals court in his civil fraud case. The amount of his bond due reduced from nearly a half billion dollars to $175 million. And in Washington, oral arguments getting underway before the Supreme Court today over access to the abortion pill mifepristone. The decision is not expected to ban the pill outright, but could severely restrict access to it even in states where abortion is legal. And we're hearing from baseball's Shohei Otani on the scandal involving his interpreter. The Dodgers star saying he has never bet on sports and that his interpreter stole money from him and told lies. That news conference at Dodger Stadium coming five days after the team fired the interpreter over alleged ties to an illegal bookmaker and more than a million dollars in debts reported last week. And Florida may soon have one of the country's strictest social media restrictions for minors under a bill just signed by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Now, the measure bars social media accounts for children under 14, requiring parental consent for 15 and 16-year-olds. It won't go into effect until the new year and is expected to face a number of legal challenges. Now, here's a look at your weather with our Ginger Z. There's the blizzard side and the tornadic side. This storm has a lot of power with it. Clinton, Mississippi, where we had a likely tornado, the trees in the middle of the street there, that's north and west of Jackson, Mississippi. Whereas on the north side of this, Watertown, South Dakota, showing you those 35 plus mile per hour winds, up to 63 mile per hour gusts in Nebraska, making for big drifts. That heavy snow is still wrapping up in Iowa, Wisconsin, Minnesota, but on the front side, today it's all about the lower peninsula of Michigan, including Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, Fort Wayne, Muncie, Indiana, into parts of Northwest. Ohio. Then we'll move that all east and the flood alerts that are up from Apalachicola, Florida into the Mid-Atlantic going to be drencher again for Wednesday night through Thursday. All right, Ginger, thank you for that. And the women's Sweet 16 is set as the top seeds advance. Caitlin Clark in her final home game before she turns pro, bringing the magic, dropping 32 points, breaking the women's NCAA single season scoring record in the final minute. Notre Dame advancing as well as UCLA and UConn moving on to its 30th straight Sweet 16. And the massive jackpots are growing. The Mega Millions Prize climbing to at least $1.1 billion. That drawing is tonight. And tomorrow night, the Powerball jackpot going for at least $865 million. Good luck to our friends and family who are hoping to strike it rich this week, including myself. I know that's my right. Yeah, but back to Kate and <laughs> Clark. She is unstoppable. Yeah, and the oh, women's yes, basketball has been amazing. Oh, it sure has. All right, Tim, thank you very much. We appreciate it.